Capricorn. Let's take a look to see what you guys need to know at this time. I hope you guys are all doing great. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have birth chart placements in Capricorn or you are dealing with someone that does have birth chart placements in Capricorn, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings if you're interested. Click the join button below or you can find more information about joining in the description box. You can also find information there about private readings. I am running a special for the month of January um, if you're interested in that. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. So we have the nine of cups here. We have the world. Libra energy. We have the queen of wands in reverse. Aries Leo Sag energy. We have the knight of swords in reverse. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Clarify the nine of cups. The page of swords. Does somebody want to know if you're happy or you guys could be finding something out that's going to make you very happy or somebody's curious to know if you're happy for some of you, somebody's watching you live your best life. Be happy without them. Tell me about the world. What's coming to an end here with the cycle. Sometimes somebody wants to end some type of conflict. Somebody can see you happy without them or just fulfilled and happy or something is coming to light that is going to make you very happy that's ending some type of conflict or something like that a cycle of or if there was yeah conflict between your tension that's coming to an end how about the queen of wands reverse the ten of cups yeah guys i'm already feeling like this is a third party situation when i saw the queen of wands reverse come out it's not always that but you guys are you know that the queen of wands can sometimes be especially in the reverse like the other woman or whatever but i do feel like you guys actually might might be the third party to be honest like i think that somebody um we're gonna we're gonna take a, a a closer look at that in a second tell me about the knight of swords reverse strength reverse somebody knows that they had another person or something like this it's like somebody's hesitant to come towards you or like they're not coming in or they want to talk to you but they're not coming towards you yet because and they don't have the, the courage because this is somebody that knows that there was conflict between the two of you because they had somebody else they cheated on you or for some of you they had a whole ass family or something like that. And I feel like now they're just watching you from a distance, not taking any action towards you. If they do reach out to you, they're going to have to do it impulsively because this person is like lacking the courage to come towards you. But I do feel like somebody's seeing you happy. And tell you about the Queen of Wands reverse and the Ten of Cups. The Two of Wands reverse. They could have, somebody could have chosen to, and whoever this Queen of Wands reverse is, they could be jealous. Somebody could also be jealous of how happy you made somebody. Or they could be, um, yeah, this person doesn't know their worth. Tell me about the two of wands in reverse. It's almost like somebody's mad because if this queen, if this queen of wands in reverse knows about you, they know that you made this person happier or this person was happier when they were with you or something. Or they just think that your person would be happier with you because they have low self-esteem. There's something like that. This is somebody that they're breaking up with. The lovers in reverse. I can't show it on camera. Some Yeah, two of wands reverse. They already know that they don't want to be with this person. Clarify the ten of cups. The page of wands. And the six of swords. It's almost like this. there's a third party here that knows that your person has found happiness elsewhere. Like they already know that your person is probably going to end up leaving them or something like that. So now what? So now what? The Six of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody knows that they're coming back. So somebody knows that you're, this person is leaving them to come back to you. That they miss you. But why is the Eight of Pentacles? Like, because they're not putting as much work or effort into them anymore or something like that. Yeah, they've stopped. They're, they're, they, they know. So there's a, I wouldn't even say they're the third party. They're the person that they live with or that they have a family with or something. That knows that your person or, you know, this other person that you've been dealing with. They may not know you personally. 444 on the, I'm telling you, they for some of you, they live with this person. They could be married to them. They're committed in a committed situation with them. Whatever. Family with them. It could even be for some of you a family member. But whoever this person is, they know that your person 
is focused on somebody else or they found somebody else that has kind of like sparked their, their interest here because they're no longer really putting any work or effort or focus or anything. Like they have a very mediocre connection with this person. They're not putting any, any, in any effort. They feel like their attention, they're distracted. Their attention is elsewhere. They, they're very withdrawn emotionally. Yeah. It's just, they're acting very cold towards them. Okay. So what does this mean for Capricorn? The Ace of Cups. What about the Ace of Cups reverse? The Eight of Swords. Okay. Who who's stressed out over you? Are you guys stressed? Who's stressed and why? Somebody is stressed because they can't get out of their head about reaching out to you. They maybe feel like you don't love them anymore. What is the Ace of Cups reverse? Temperance reverse. Yeah, somebody may feel like you don't. There is a lack of reciprocity, or you don't want to reconcile with them anymore because of this tower moment. Something the they're they're wanting to leave something here. What about the, the chariot? The sun. What's the sun? The hermit. Okay. The three of cups. It's like they did they don't want anything to move forward in that situation. Yeah, the four of wands. There is some type of marriage or living situation commitment coming to an end here. And whoever this person is that they were with knows about this. They either know who you are and they know that your person is willing to come towards you or they just have a feeling that your person has met somebody else. So what, what's happening here? Tell me more about what this means. So what can uh, Capricorn expect to happen? And why is this coming out for their reading this week? What can they expect to happen now? Why is this coming out for them? Somebody's definitely afraid to come towards you. So they've already made up their mind that they want to leave somebody behind, but they're also afraid to approach you because you got, it maybe came into your awareness that they had another person or something like that. Tell me more. What's, so we have the high, even if you didn't have solid proof, your intuition told you. Yeah. Some of you guys are, you know, gifted in that way. We have the five of cups or you just your gut. You don't even have to be, you know, everybody has a gut and intuition, a gut feeling. You guys just knew. Yeah. The five of cups here. Are you guys feeling somebody's energy too? Or somebody's secretly over there sad over you and regret, feeling like a failure, grieving you, feeling like, or somebody feels some type of way that you're silent on them now. Who, you are you, not, you're not speaking to them. Tell me more. The Knight of Wands reverse. I'm telling you, somebody is being very passive here. It's like they, they're feeling a lot of things, they're thinking a lot of things, but they're not communicating them. That they're silent, so why not? Because they're afraid. The, maybe they're just moving very slowly towards you. Why are they moving so slow? Because they're trying to leave another situation. Like they're trying to maybe leave a situation the right way or they're they're dragging their feet and leaving a situation that's toxic. Why? The four of wands, I mean the six of wands. What, what about six of wands? The page of cups are reverse. <sighs> this person feels they're not listening to their intuition. I also feel like they're letting their insecurities get the best of them yeah tell me more the ten of swords they just know that they yeah reconciliation they feel like if you take them back they feel like if you how do i say this they want to reconcile with you with you but they may feel like you don't want to take them back or it's not going to move forward why is that cancer energy is here death it's something about the way that things ended between the two of you or what they've done yeah, they want. They don't want to juggle no more. The tower. Oh, uh, are they? Oh, we. Can, I really hope this isn't somebody that's making the decision to finally make up their mind once they get it rejected here. So they're coming towards you. What are they coming towards you with? Why are they getting? Re yeah, the two of cups in reverse and the five of pentacles in reverse. They're trying to recover from some type of breakup or something. Yeah, a separation. What about the hair font? Taurus energy they're not ready for a commitment because they're just getting out of another one or still in the process of getting out, it out of another one you guys are going to end up rejecting this person or it's almost like you're not going to take this person back so easily yeah because they're just they don't what do they have to really offer you they're the, they're the nine of pentacles in reverse some of you they're not single yeah they're still like not making up their mind about something and i think you're how are they how does capricorn know this queen of pentacles how do you guys know this how do you know this person's not telling you the eight of wands in reverse. How do you guys know? 
the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups Reverse, the Wheel of Change. Yeah, what about the Wheel of Fortune? This, yeah. The Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. I just think you guys know that the reason why things weren't really moving forward between you and this person is because they were they went back to a situation or they were working on something with somebody else, but that that ended. They they why did them and that other piece of person break up? I feel like because they weren't happy with that person. They were lacking connection with that person. I think it was pretty obvious that they were always focused on somebody else or there was somebody else that they were wanting to be with or something like that. Why did things end between them and this third party? They were very emotionally un yeah. Right as I'm saying, they're very emotionally unavailable, very emotionally immature. They gave very little to this person. Tell me more. Why did things end? The, the, the Empress. The, I'm telling you guys, because of you. The Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. You make this person feel very insecure. The star, you're everything that they wanted. So it's like it didn't feel right to them. Mm -mm. It didn't feel right to move forward with this person. Yeah, they don't have feelings and emotions for that person. Yeah, what about the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? The Eight of Swords in reverse, yeah. They're seeing through some type of illusion that what? What's this illusion? Eight of, the Seven of Cups or... The Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords in reverse. They feel like somebody is going to be bitter or something like that. That This is somebody that helped them in some way or gave money to them or was generous towards them or supported them in some way at some time. And I feel like they feel like this person is going to be bitter. They were afraid of what this person was going to do to them. Because this person has helped them in some way. So they felt stuck there because they were afraid. They were afraid. They were afraid of the repercussions of leaving this person. But were there, what, was that just an illusion? What were they going to, how would this third party feel about your person walking away from them? How would they feel if this person walked away from them? They're tired or something. They're sick of it. I don't think that they want, mm, tell me more. Tell me about the Nine of Wands in reverse. How would they feel about your person walking away from them? The, the Chariot in reverse? I don't know. They may try to work it. Eh. Tell me more. The Nine of Wands. They would try to make maybe make it hard for them to leave. Why? In what way? The Eight of Cups in reverse. I feel like this third party isn't happy either. It's like almost like they're, they're not happy with one another. But they just keep staying in this bad situation. Why? Because they're both not ready to start something new or they just really both don't know what the hell that they want or they're both immature or, yeah, the devil. They're just both like, it's toxic. It's like they're codependent on one another or something like that. But what's the truth here? The Ace of Swords? That somebody's realizing that they're just, they're just not happy there. That staying in this situation is blocking their happiness. Yeah, they're over there missing an opportunity for actual, genuine, true happiness. Yeah, the wheel. So, yeah, the wheel's turning. And now what? Changes are occurring. Eight of, yeah, working on what? Somebody is want, wanting a commitment now. Hmm. It's weird, guys. It's almost like this third party actually doesn't really think very much of this person. It's weird. I don't understand what, what is the purpose of their connection. <laughs> like, I don't get it. They think that your person is immature and okay, so why are they been staying with them then? Why has this third party been staying with the, this person if that's how they feel about them? I don't understand.
it's almost like this third party has been trying to decide if they want to stay or go. Like they feel like there's something much better for them somewhere else. And they're just comfortable there. But I feel like they just, it's like they lack drive or something like that, or they don't want to do something impulsive. But yeah, this person has already been trying to contemplate if they want to leave this person or not. So if your person were to tell them like, all right, I don't want us to be together anymore. Like they would be like, yeah, I feel like it would just end the toxicity. They would detach. They would let it go. This is weird. It's almost like they're just like, oh, it's just, it's like they're one of those people that are like, well, I'm not necessarily happy, but whatever. It's just, it, it's whatever. It's that kind of energy. Like they haven't been super motivated to walk away from this, but they're not happy either. And I feel like that's for both of them. It's not just one of them. It's weird. It's almost like, if your person were just honest with them and be like, look, I don't feel that way for you anymore. I don't think we should keep doing this. I don't want to be together anymore. This person would let them go. They would be like, it would like they would, it would give them like the booster like that they needed to leave this. Tell me more. I'm hearing that song in my head by Tink and it's called, what is that song? On My Own? Mm-hmm. It's like this third party just wants your person to just tell them. Like, or this person to tell them, like, okay, is there somebody else? Do you have feelings for somebody else? But, like, what's the problem here? They're both standing in this out of comfortability. I think your person is afraid that this person is going to act crazy if they try to leave them or take something from them or be bitter. But in, the, in reality, this third party, this other person just wants your person to be honest with them and be like, is there another person? Do you not want to be with me anymore? Do you not love me anymore? Why are they not telling the third party the truth? That's what I don't understand. Why are they not telling this third party the truth? That they don't want to hurt them? It's like, do these people not communicate with each other? And do they not know each other? Because if there was good communication between the two of them, this person would, under, would this is weird. I don't know how to explain it to you guys. It's almost like, again, it's out of comfortability. It's like this person doesn't want to rock the boat or something like that. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, the hair font in reverse. It's like they just. They're just, it's because they're doubting themselves. They're resisting the universe. Weird. This is weird. Okay. <laughs> they need, th them and this person need to have a conversation. Okay. They're, they're both not happy. They're both just codependent. They're both just staying out of comfortability. They both are both thinking about, should I stay? Should I go? Like, that means it's time to go. Like, it's time to let it go. I don't, it's weird. It's almost like the third party just wants to know, like, the truth. And your person is not telling them the truth. And I don't really understand why. It's like your person's afraid to tell them, yes, there is somebody else that I want to be with. There is somebody else that I love. And because like, if you listen to that Tink song, she's talking about how like, she's talking about how there's like she knows that there's another that the person that she loves is with somebody else or that she thinks somebody there was somebody else and she's wondering like you know do, do they kiss you like I used to or do they hug you like I used to you know like stuff like that and then it's like she's saying like tell me do you love her like tell me like do you need her and so to make it easy for me make it easy for me to leave you so just tell me the truth because she'll never leave on her own like it's almost like this person would just stay in this shit forever if but if this person were just to speak up and be like look i don't feel anything for you anymore and i you know there is somebody it's, it's weird it's like this person doesn't know their worth like they would just stay in this situation they would just continue to settle but it's like if your person were just to tell them Hmm. I don't know if there's like a slither of hope there or something. I don't know. But we have gesture here. You can expect some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection. Give them a chance to prove themselves. So they are going to be coming toward you. Yeah, they're strategizing how to come towards you. Plotting. 
They're stepping up their game to get to know, get your attention because they know you have plenty of other options. It's almost like they've been like using this other person as a placeholder or something until they're ready. Because I don't feel like they were ready for what you were ready for. Yeah, they feel like you're mysterious or you've gone silent on them. And they're wondering what the hell is going on. The mystery of you intrigues them. You keep them guessing and engaged. Very different from the rest. Yeah, they see you as marriage material. They see you as marriage material. A strong that Someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. But they're resisting this. They saw the potential in you, but they're resisting this. They need time to answer the call of their soul and step into higher levels of consciousness. They weren't ready for it. Yep, exactly. They needed to get on your frequency. Get on your level. And they weren't anywhere near that. They were aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving. They, they also couldn't accept your love. Yep, they just feel like you're way up here. You were way up there and they were way down, way down there. They put you on a pedestal. Like I said, they've been just trying to use this, like using this person as a placeholder until they feel like they're ready enough to be with you. And that's not fair to do that to somebody. They're, they're, they're wasting this person's time. They're wasting each other's time. You're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. We have divinely guided. You have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. Mm. So on the back of the deck, we have anxiously waiting. This person's hoping that you come toward them. Mm -mm. They search for you and everything, feel you everywhere, always in the back of their mind, hoping they run into you. Yeah, lustful desires. Mm. There is a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. Yeah, they're going to take a leap of faith here. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. For some of you, they've been staying with that person because that person, like I said, lacks self-worth. And they kind of allow your person to get away with some shit that they shouldn't be letting them get away with. Like cheating on them, having multiple people and stuff like that. And um, they're a little bit gullible, I just heard. So I think that's another reason why they've been staying over there because this is that kind of person that they like to have one main person but they like to cheat too it's like gross and i think this person knew that they couldn't do that with you that's why it says they see you as marriage material somebody that they they it's like unfortunate but they never viewed this person as somebody that they wanted to like do right by you by or settle down with i don't know how they got involved with this person but they don't see this person in the way that they see you like they see you as somebody that they want to do right by this other person not so much like they they don't they don't see this other person as marriage material or somebody that they didn't want to stop cheating for and stuff like that. So <sighs> they are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you. Yeah, they, extra they you intimidated the hell out of this person. They had a lot of pa passion for you and it's hard for them to stay away from you. Yeah. Um, it's like with this other person, they're able to still indulge in some type of addictions or um, dark side of theirs. And I, but I feel like it's just not cutting it. It's just, I don't know. So I want to see though. Before I take it over to the extended. Uh, let's use, I'm going to use this. What is keeping them there, spirit? Oh, hold on, I'm dropping cards already. What is keeping them there? Oh, see? Friends with benefits. Ooh. So these cards fell out and I think I'm going to just leave it here. So they were friends with benefits with this other person. I told you, they don't see this other person as marriage material, but they live with this person or something. Yep. It's like whoever this person is, is somebody that is okay with being like not the only one, like not in a full blown commitment. And I don't even think that they want to give that to this person. For some of you, it's something to do with controlling or overbearing parents as well. And then we have let go of the past, whatever that's, you know, referring to. Yeah, they the, they need to look at this. Distorted feminine or karmic. Yeah, I hide secrets. Yeah. Yep, I want someone else to explore other options. They're hiding from a karmic that there is somebody else that they want to be with. I'm telling you that they don't feel good enough for. There is somebody that they want to be with that they don't feel good enough for. Wow. Mm -mm. Some of you guys are worried, think that maybe they got a, They had a baby on you or that. So there's something to do, like they're hiding something to you from you about a child. Spear says you have nothing to be worried about when it comes to that. All right. Yep. What is let go of the past before I move over to the extended? What is let go of the past? 
what is like go of the past infidelity mm. maybe <sighs> family brings you down what leave me alone maybe they're they're pushing away they're like trying to push away their family or what does infidelity have to do with anything they don't feel the same i'm telling you guys there is somebody who like maybe loves them or cares about them but like they don't feel the same way about this person because they've been cheating on them and if they weren't cheating on them how would they have met you it's weird look at this I have a surprise gift for you. I will fight for us. Somebody's about to come in and start trying to compete for you and went trying to win you back. Mm -mm. I told you they never wanted, they never felt like they wanted to be faithful to this person, but for, they were also like in some type of weird friends of benefit. Like maybe this, this third party or whoever this other person is wanted commitment with your person. They want us. They wanted to settle down with your person. They wanted family, marriage, all those things. Your person would never give it to them. And it, it is, it's, it's hard. This is a messy, this is not, yeah. I think that this part, your, the person you've been dealing with knows that it's going to hurt this person. If you, if they give you everything that they would never give this person, why don't they like this other person though? Like, what is it that, I mean, they could just not be the one, but why do they not, what's up with this person that they don't, they never felt like they wanted to commit to them. What is up with that? Why do they feel like they never wanted to commit to this person? Why do they feel like they never wanted to commit to this third party? Invest in your dreams. Well, maybe they don't want to commit to this, this third party because they feel like you are their happiness. They miss you. They feel like you're with, I told you, they're, you're their dream coming true or their wish fulfillment. They want to be with you. But in the past, why did they not commit to this person? Why did they not commit to this person in the past? I do this with everyone, no hard feelings. So this was just another one of those people that they were like, on their roster or i don't even know it's weird i feel like whoever this person was was like a part of their pattern that they like they were like it was like a pattern of people that they hmm interesting we need to talk what is everyone i do this with everyone what i do this ooh, hold on i do this with everyone I was not, they, they just have huge self-esteem issues. Like they need a lot of validation and they need a lot of, yeah. Yeah, you are the best thing that ever happened to me. Put your kids and priorities first. What is that about? Put your kids and priorities first. Friends with benefits. Maybe they, ugh, I don't know. Friends with benefits and put your kids and priorities first. Plotting on your downfall. What the hell? You deserve better. Okay, show effect. They're going to be coming in with some type of emotional communication here. Mm, maybe somebody feels like th they're not a good mom. Ooh, like, or not a good dad. There's something maybe about they feel like whoever this person is that they got entangled with, they feel like they're not a good mom. So maybe like they have kids, right? Wow. Who, why would you even mess around with somebody that you don't even feel like you would want to be the mother or the father of your children? That's why they were just trying to be friends with benefits with this person because they knew that they, they would never want more than that for more than that with this person because they don't even feel like this person could be a good mother to their children or something like that. But why is that? They feel like you're a very nurturing energy. That, that's a, That's actually a big selling point like on you for them is they feel like you're a good mom you would be a good mom to their kids they don't feel that way about this other person why i have money but i'm still lonely why do they not think this person would be a good mom or dad why do they think this person would not be a good mom or dad they don't want to tell me maybe this person cheats i don't know maybe this person is a cheater too maybe they cheat on each other yeah because infidelity keeps wanting to come out i don't know guys maybe for some of you, they, ooh, you know what, for some of you, somebody's ready to move on to the person that they, they, they view as like marriage material, which is you. There, this, this past person could have cheated on them in the past too. Like whoever this other person is, is somebody that maybe cheated on them. And you know, like once you cheat or there's a betrayal, it's hard to like make a relationship work after that. I just think it was maybe comfortable, but that this person could have cheated on them in some way. And they maybe were still trying to make the relationship work. But I think that your person just doesn't like feel that way about them anymore or something like that. I don't know. It's weird. 
So I am going to take this over to the extended reading so we can take a deeper look at the situation. Um, feelings, intentions, guidance, all that will be in the extended reading. The link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Um, what was I going to say? Pride reading information can be found in the description box. Um, I am running a special for the month of January. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended reading. Bye.